and I like to, to kind of show how you can be a bit creative with wigs. Here you go. Whenever your heart is broken, don't ever forget your golden. I will find the light in your soul. I'll be there. Hi guys, it's Michelle and I'm just here super duper quickly to show you another new wig from Rennie of Paris for 2019. Now I am playing around with her, she is straight from Box. This is called Anastasia. Anastasia is different from the other wigs in the collection in that she is a standard machine made standard cap. This is quite a cute little style actually. The shade that I'm wearing I am very much in love with. This is a new shade for 2019 and it is called Smoky Grey R. So it is a rooted shade, it is this dark, silvery, grey, smoky tone. It's really lovely. So let's talk a wee bit about Anastasia. So the kind of fringe front layers on Anastasia are four and a half inches and for me that's quite long and in my eyeballs so you know you can swoop it to the side. You could have it cut to more of a blunt type fringe if you wanted to. Um, the back layers at the crown are five and a half inches and you have just three inches at the nape here. Now this is, it's kind of cute, you know, and it's it's versatile and it, de it depends on what you want to do with it. You could, it's got all these choppy kind of layers through the top. It is kind of like, you have layers at the back that you could use some product and have it quite stacked looking or you can just have it totally very much sleek if you wanted to go for the more sleek look. I am trying to decide what I want to do with this. Part of me thinks that what I will probably do is wear it fairly sleek or even if I mess it up I'll probably cut a fairly blunt front, blunt fringe to the wig and then I can go between having it choppy or whatever. So what you can do though is on the model photos, the model is wearing the kind of fringe bang section to the side so you know it's up to yourself i always say the same on your head it is your hair so in a box it's a wig in your head it's your hair we all have different styles we all like different things even day to day i like different things on a daily basis or even within the same day so you know how you choose to wear it is very much up to yourself it is nice that with those layers you do have that versatility you do have those kind of options now what you can do with her is you have these kind of not top heavy but you have these top kind of shorter layers i would be if you could tuck them behind my ears and then you have this kind of heavy fringe looking kind of thing sitting here to the side or you know bring her down if you want to um you can kind of put her over to the side and then just play around and wear it how you want to wear it. One thing I thought when I saw Anastasia was I think she's looked gorgeous with a kind of headband on. Um, so I actually have a headband here, which, you know, I like to accessorise my wigs and play around with them. Um, so I've just kind of, what I've done here with this is tucked all of this behind my ears. So it's gone from looking like a bob to what I'm going to do here is this kind of fringe bring it over to the side, use the heat from my hand just to kind of redirect and mould those fibres here. Just keep them to the side. I'm going to now put on my headband and cover over my ears slightly and it's going to change this from looking like a bobbed wig to looking like a super duper cute short style. Now because we have these layers on top like we have said then you're then kind of having this. It's almost, it looks like it's a pixie now. It almost looks like it's slightly pixie with a bit of a longer nape. Um, what you can do is grab a bit of styling product. If you're going to put product into your wigs, make sure you're using styling product that has been created for synthetic hair. So I'm just going to use a wee tiny bit to redirect this fringe type area away from my eyeballs. And I love this shade, the Smoky Grey R, I really love. I love all these new shades that we've just seen launch. They are so, so pretty. Um, so there we go. So this is a total different look to Anastasia. This has changed her from the bob she is to looking like she is a bit more pixie. Now, I love that. It is a very basic cap. It's a machine made cap. There is some permatease on top. We have open wefted sides and back. There's no lace front. There's no monofilament. However, 
do you know it's perfect for this this is probably the way I will wear her most of the time and I know it looks like a totally different wig but I think that's what's phenomenal about wigs you know it's about making them your own making it your style making it what you want to have so yeah I've popped a hairband on with this just now and I like that it's not for everybody if you think Michelle what have you done you've ruined the look of that wig that's okay because you wear it how you want to wear it you know but for me I kind of like this look here it's nice it's lightweight it's airy for summer it's kind of short and to me it's quite feminine and this does give it that kind of pixie look and it's not a pixie it is not a pixie cut short wig but you get that appearance when you stick on your headband i'm a bit of a lover of headbands and the likes um same thing take your headband off you can also use like your styling cream and if you've tucked those layers behind your ears those kind of bob layers again you get that look of it being short because you have all of that layering on top which is you know it's nice if you want to go for that so you know you've got options if you feel like actually i think i like that as a pixie then you know you can obviously have it altered but it's i love it that it's versatile i won't be cutting any of that from it um maybe i won't be bothering going for the blunt fringe like i said at the start of the video because i think most of the time i'll probably stick on a headband and wear it quite you know how i had on a minute ago <laughs> pixie-esque so yeah it's really cute I I love a wee bit of versatility. It makes me happy. It makes me happy in life. What you can do as well is obviously you don't have a mono parting or anything. You could leave part of the front section down if you wanted. Like almost as though you've got a wee split fringe here to the sides. These layers are short. This is your heavy fringe section here. But what you could do is grab a wee bobby pin, leg so. And obviously you've got roots on this wig so it does hide the fact that it is a more basic top in a rooted colour. I always find rooted colours are good in a more basic cap. And there you go, now I have an even different look again. It looks like a totally different wig. This is a very affordable wig. This, I like it like this too. I'm just, <laughs> I just like to play around. That's what's so good about it. Even with a very basic cap, with a short style, with all these heavy layers and this heavy fringe, it is still versatile. I've gone from looking like I have a bob now, which is styled up, to having a choppy, shaggy look, how the wig comes, to having a pixie by just simply putting on a headband. Now, that's not anything difficult. It does not take a lot of time and effort. It is very straightforward. If I can do it, you guys can do it. It is very simple. But I hope you've enjoyed this. This is so versatile. I have to admit, when I saw the new styles, I did not think I was going to gravitate towards this one. I thought, mm, I don't think I'll know how to be wearing that. And actually, although it is a very basic cap, it's it's actually going to be it's going to be one that I do wear a lot because it's lightweight. It's nice and short. For me, this is a great length for summer. I'm loving this smoky grey R shade. Renny of Paris, you've done a great job once again. This has come in a whole host of shades. We've got the gorgeous new shades that have come out for 2019. This is one of them. Um, you can check out the new styles. Go to your favourite added in retail, your favourite Renny of Paris seller. And yeah, have a look at these styles. You might look at a wig and think... I don't think that's for me. I always say to people, it is good to try things on. Even try on something you think that you're really going to dislike and you're really going to hate because I didn't think I would hate this wig, but I, I didn't think I was going to gravitate towards it and I didn't think it's one that I would probably get a lot of use out of. But then, to me, it's important that I get these things and try them. And I'm so glad I have because we have this kind of look as it comes and as you kind of see her layered shaggy type bob i i love being able to play with wigs and make them so different from what you see on a kind of model image and i like to to kind of show how you can be a bit creative with wigs there you go looking more pixie and it's not a pixie so it's really really great so I just wanted to say thank you to Anel from Trends Co for sending me these to let me show you guys out there these new styles that have launched they are really really lovely you know if you are a wig wearer whether it's for fashion whether it's for medical hair loss I'm medical hair loss doesn't matter why you wear a wig 
anything. There are a multitude of reasons. You know, make it your own, make it your hair. Have fun with it, you know? Just do what you want to do. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks about how you wear your hair. It's your hair. You do with it as you please. Um, so I'm going to head off now. I'll be back very soon with more wig reviews. And till next time, keep sparkling, be your own beautiful, and I will see you guys all very, very soon. Bye! Mwah!